Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today we are out here with my daughter's 2004 GMC Envoy XL, <laughs> SLT. And uh, we are gonna be replacing the blower motor, the, the climate control uh, blower motor. It is uh, not working and it's coming into the winter time here and she doesn't have any heat, so we gotta get this fixed. So I've ordered a new part off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description to the blower that I ordered for this vehicle. There's a bunch of similar models. Uh, Amazon has a great system for auto parts. If you click on the link below, it will, you will be taken to a blower motor replacement and it will ask you which vehicle you have. You will put in that information and it will tell you if it fits or does not fit. Uh, and there from there, you can get recommended products that do, do fit your vehicle. Uh, other fan options, or, there are several variations of this. So if you have a similar vehicle, Trailblazer, uh, or similar year model, uh, you can get the part you need. Once you have your blow motor, I will show you how to dig through and get this replaced. It's not extremely difficult, but it uh, is one of those things in tight spaces with little screws and things. So. Let's dig in and get this, uh, the old one taken out and the new one popped in. All right, everything that we need to get this job completed, a couple flathead screwdrivers will be helpful to uh, get the some of these little clips and things off. Uh, I have a Leatherman, and, you know, those pliers would work just fine. It's good to have something to pinch, again, some of these little clips and things. And I have two sockets here that you'll need. Um, you can use, obviously, just a socket wrench with an extension or something on it, uh, or you can use one of these handles that I have um, that I use a little adapter for and uh, attach the sockets to. That's uh, a handy way to go. So I have a seven millimeter and a seven thirty seconds uh, socket here that will be necessary to get this thing out. So this is what we're looking for. It has the two prong connector and the big squirrel cage blower on it. So this is the new part that we're gonna be replacing. And in order to get to it, you're going to dig through a couple spots. So you got a couple screws here that you need to take off. I think these are a seven millimeter. So seven millimeter socket or adapter for a, a screw a driver handle like this. We'll take this one off, this one off, and then this whole piece comes off. And then you're also gonna take the glove box off. So this particular model has a hook right here. You just have to pull up on that and the glove box falls down. Um, you're gonna flap that thing back and forth in your way, but uh, you need to let that loose. Some of them have a spot where you'll pinch on the sides and so that will release the, the glove box. So we'll get that taken care of and show you where we're at next. So when you take this off, there's gonna be three of these, uh, these clips that are attached to the plastic piece. So if you use a flathead screwdriver and get behind those, you can pull those off and this will release. So this is the XM radio module. So between all the different uh, manufacturers, there are about 50 different types of clips and connectors between different uh, fuel lines and electrical connectors. This particular one, uh, grab a pair of needle nose or something and you, you pinch it right here and that releases the, the clip and this pulls out. This next one you can release up here or here. This clip, a little easier to take apart. So get this out of the way. So this is the 12 volt power that is uh, going to the fan or the blower. So it's actually easiest to see from up here, but to reach it from underneath. So if you pinch up on the bottom part of this clip, it releases this little, this little spot right here that allows it to slide out. So now this is a good time if you haven't already tested it, to put the key in the ignition and uh, turn your fan all the way to high and pop a multimeter in here and test. Uh, this is a negative and positive. Should have between, I don't know, I think it's like six and 12 volts, depending on how what uh, variable speed you have the, the blower on. If you're getting power here, but your blower's not on, most likely the blower's bad. If you're not getting power here, something else is wrong. The blower housing itself is held in here by these three screws. There's one here, one on the back side, uh, one on the side here, one on the back. So these need to, need to come out. Wouldn't it be nice if they were that same seven millimeter, but nope, there's not. So strangely, these uh, little screws here are uh, a five and a half millimeter. They're like in between five and six. And so uh, a standard size, American size, seven thirty seconds will will work. These will come all the way out and that we'll have to just kind of jimmy that uh, blower out from underneath. Huh. 
squirrel cage. Looks like it had some squirrels in it. Okay, probably won't be able to film this part, but essentially we are just going to make sure that uh, your wire here, the, the clip, the power clip is, is in the right place. And you want to make sure that your, your plug is on that side so it goes in this way. So your front screw should be just to the left of that plug, so it's just going to go right up back in there that way. And then this goes on uh, top of it, and then we'll put those screws back in. Okay, that was uh, a lot of fun. It's good to have a little flashlight in there, so I actually used my phone. So before we go any further, we're just going to hook this back up and test it. So definitely an easy repair that requires very, very, very minimal tools. A couple sockets, screwdriver, and a Leatherman, and you'll have this done in no time. It took me, even with filming, about 20 to 30 minutes to get this done, so it's not a difficult process. Uh, this truck, I will say, this GMC Envoy, has over 270,000 miles on it, and uh, this, this, thing, this thing is just running great. Uh, little things like this, though, they go bad. Um, this is, is rusted, and it looks like at some point there it was probably stored or uh, little chipmunks and squirrels and things got into the squirrel cage. I wonder if they're running around in there. Let me know if you guys have questions about the repair. Super quick video today for those of you out here just looking for some confidence maybe to get a quick repair done. These things on Amazon cost less than 50, 60 bucks, and so uh, it's a super simple and inexpensive repair. So make sure you have your heat working for uh, your car or uh, your kid's car, like mine. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video if you found this informational, helpful uh, in any way. We'd love to have uh, your support in that way. Of course, subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the SSL Family Dad channel. We'd love to have you. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.